So this, originally the BCR technique was by itself, but now this is a pair, okay? These are twin flames, these two things. <laughs> the BCR and the TC technique. Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here, and I have an exciting new technique that I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. And this technique is called the TC, or Trigger Clearing Technique. Now, if you're familiar with my YouTube channel, you know that in the past I've talked about working with uh, the BCR technique, which you can also find on my YouTube channel. And it is a free technique that again is extremely helpful and many people are using it and they're sensing a very strong form of relief and release as they work with uh, putting positive reinforcement within themselves or as we look at the BCR technique we see breath work we see calmness and we see reinforcement on a positive level now this technique goes right alongside the BCR technique, which means they go together. So the new technique is called the TC. TC technique. And as it stands for, in its abbreviated form, is of course trigger clearing. It is the trigger clearing technique that comes after the breathwork, calmness, and reinforcement technique. So what is special about this technique? Well, it is also extremely simple, just like the BCR technique is. So after you do the BCR technique, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out the BCR technique video. There's actually two videos on my YouTube channel that talk about the BCR technique. So you will want to be able to do that one first. Once that one is finished, then we're going to look into the TC technique. So basically what this is, is it is identifying when we're triggered. Okay, so it is attempting to catch yourself, become aware of when an emotional trigger happens. When an emotional trigger happens, we now go through the TC technique process. So you are able to become aware. It's like a catcher's mitt. If you start to feel a very strong intensity with this emotional trigger, you're taking like a catcher's mitt and you're catching yourself so that you don't get involved with the heaviness of that emotional identity trigger. We're here to identify it and we're here to reinforce the love energy within ourselves to completely dissolve that trigger. So the first thing you do is identify the trigger. Second thing you're going to do is you're going to work with your love energy. So the love energy cultivated in the BCR technique is going to be applied here. So you're applying that love energy. So it's just taking a deep breath Deep breath in, deep breath out, and just bringing in that love flow. As that love energy now starts to fill yourself, it's like you're looking at that trigger like it's a sphere or a ball within your hands. You may see it like a black ball, for instance. But as you're lifting yourself up because you've caught the trigger, you're aware that this trigger is here, you're looking at it, you know what it stands for, you're going inside your love because you've cultivated in the BCR technique and now you're just shining that love energy upon this trigger, this black sphere, for example. And the intention with this black sphere is that you want to completely clear it away. You want to melt it. It's almost like you're holding a block of butter and you're seeing it getting warmer and warmer and warmer until that melting butter is completely gone from your hands. Well, that's exactly what you're doing here. You're identifying the trigger, you're working with your love energy that you cultivated, you're taking a deep breath, and you're shining that pure love energy 
onto this black sphere and it's becoming liquefied. It's turning from that solid sphere to that liquid to vapor. And now, psh, completely gone. And the effect that you may have from this is that you may start to smile. Maybe it's a grin too. <laughs> okay, you're gonna start chuckling and flat out laughing. This is the effect of knowing that your love energy is strong and you're able to direct that love energy towards this trigger, this black sphere. See it melting away from liquid and becoming vapor. So now, that smile, that grin, that chuckle, that laughing is assuring that your love energy is reigning supreme here. You have allowed yourself to dissolve this trigger because your love energy is powerful. Well, is there an easy way that I can visualize my love energy uh, very strong within me so that I can dissolve this trigger? Well, there is. Okay? It's like looking at a gas tank. Okay? Here's the half full, here's the full, here's the empty. We want to make sure that our gas tank is full. So this could be what you could refer to as having love fuel. And we want to check the gauge all the time. So whenever we get triggered, this starts to falter. This starts to move maybe around the halfway point of the gauge, which means your love fuel tank is only half full. And that's when we start to feel a little distressed, we start to feel a little upset, we start to feel concerned because that emotional state, that identity, right? So you're identifying the identity of the trigger. That identity, that intellect, is now starting to take over. It's starting to say, oh, you can't do this, or you're going to be upset, this happened, what are you going to do about it, etc., etc. We get caught up in the emotional identity. And how can we identify these emotions that are coming through? Well, there are three core emotions. And I refer to it as F-A-S. The FAS core emotions. So at the very top, we have fear. And at the left here, we have anger. And at the right, we have sadness. So we have fear, we have anger, we have sadness. All of our emotions can basically fit into these three categories. And just underneath that triangle, right underneath it, underground, are the three traumas. A, R, a. Abandonment, rejection, abuse. So these three traumas are linked directly to the three core emotions. And so the emotions become like the messengers. They're the scribes. They're the ones that have the messages in the bottle. And they're coming together and we're able to identify those three core emotions. So we have fear, we have anger, and sadness that is piggybacking and connecting into the deeper traumas relating to abandonment, rejection, and abuse. So now that we're able to understand that, we look at our trigger and say, okay, this is a fear. It's a fear that's coming up. Because like I said, you want to look at that trigger once you catch it. So okay, this is a fear thing, this is a fear thing, okay. So now we want to put up our love fuel. We want to strengthen our love fuel. We want to rev that engine. And revving that engine, that love engine, is going to bring about love energy. So this again is what the BCR technique does, is it reinforces, it helps us to cultivate that love energy so that we're completely full. The gauge of love fuel is completely filled up. We want to try and keep it that way. Okay. So this is basically the image that we're attempting to keep within our awareness 
daily. We want to be aware of our love fuel tank. We want to be aware if there is any disruption, if there is any problems pertaining to identity, intellect, that are bringing in the three messengers, the three core emotional states of fear, anger, and sadness linked to the deeper underground of abandonment, rejection, abuse, traumas, which again, the seed of that is lack. Okay? That is the entire nature of our emotional states or emotional identity states. You see, the emotions are not the bad thing here. It's the identity, it's the contamination that is attached to these emotions. Your emotions are a natural defense mechanism. So when you're afraid of something, that's a favor that you are doing for yourself. You're being aware that something there is causing you fear or anger or sadness. And we are now looking to completely resolve that. And in order for that to happen, we need to become aware of the pain body. We need to become aware of our emotions. We need to become aware of these identity contaminations taking place within our being. So we have the love fuel. And the intention here is to keep it at full as much as possible. So if it starts to drop here, this is where we catch. We catch ourselves right there. Oh. No, you don't. I got you. You're not bringing me lower. You're not going to exhaust my love fuel tank. I got you. Okay. Now that I got you, I'm looking at that black sphere. What is this in relationship to this trigger? I'm feeling angry about something. Okay, and I'm feeling angry, okay. Maybe because someone's doing better than me and I'm not. Okay, so that anger is pertaining to a state of jealousy. Okay, so now we have that. So now again, we're bringing in our love energy. We're taking a deep breath, we're reminding ourselves what we did with the BCR technique, breath work, calmness, positive reinforcement. We now bring that love into our awareness. We see that black sphere, we start to smile, we start to chuckle, we start to laugh. That light just starts to dissolve that black sphere into liquid and then into vapor. So now it is dissolving directly into liquid, directly into vapor, and it has now completely vanished. Very good. So what do we do next? We review. Well, what does that mean, Brad? What do you mean, review? We go back into that moment to where the trigger hit us. Okay, so maybe somebody said something and we get triggered. Maybe we bumped our foot on the stairs and we get triggered. Whatever that event was that triggered, okay? And that is the event trigger, which I'll just refer to as E-trigger. We need to review the event trigger after we've dissolved that sphere. And I'll go back to the summary here shortly. We want to look into that review. What was it that caused this trigger from happening? And I'm going to review that. Okay? So I'm going back into that moment where I felt the, <gasps> the, the gasp. So as I've dissolved that right now, I'm going back into that very moment. I'm reliving that moment again. Am I reacting to it this time? No? No. I'm completely free of it. I've been able to completely free myself from this trigger. So this is again what I'm doing is I'm reviewing it to make sure that it's not affecting me again. So what I've done by shining my light upon this, I've cleared out one or two or three of the emotional core triangle and it has also played its effect here in one or two or three of the states of trauma and it has also played an effect with the seed of lack. So, by clearing out that trauma and doing it successfully, I've been able to clear out the gunk of that identity attached to my emotions. I've been able to clear out the gunk of the traumas lying beneath. And I've been able to clear out some of the gunk relating to that seed of lack. Because now I'm fine. I want to remember this. I want to remember this moment that I was able to clear out this trigger. All right. 
So there's an extra little step here that I'm going to go through here in just a moment. But we want to make sure that we are reviewing this. We want to make sure that we're going back to that trigger. Okay? Because someone may ask, well, Brad, how do I know I have enough love to clear out this trigger? Well, it has to do with two questions that we're going to kind of put here in the middle. Okay? So it's right around this area here. Okay? So right when we're cultivating our love energy, we're taking a deep breath, we're getting ready to shine our light, and we may just ask that question, how do I know my love energy is strong enough to clear out this uh, debris of the trigger? So this comes down to the questions. Okay, and there are two questions that you have to ask yourself while you're cultivating your love energy, while you're bringing it up, right? You've already brought it up through the BCR technique, but you're now just refamiliarizing yourself with what you've done. So as you're in your mind and you're stimulating that love energy to come through, the first question you ask yourself is, is my love energy stronger than the trigger? Okay, that's question number one. Is my love energy stronger than the trigger? If the answer is yes, good. We now go to question number two. So number one, and number two. Number two is, am I ready to clear this trigger now? Am I ready to clear this trigger now? And if you give yourself the yes, that's when the light starts pouring in, that's when you start smiling, grinning, chuckling, laughing, because that's a natural reaction. Don't try to force yourself, right? It's a natural reaction of you bringing in your love energy shining it upon that black sphere, watching it liquefy, and now watching it turn to vapor. Okay? So this is, again is a reinforcement. So these are the two reinforcement questions. Giving yourself permission to know, yes, I have strong love energy, and I feel it's stronger than the emotional trigger. Yes, I am ready to do this right now. Okay? So, to go into the full summary here, as we're using the TC technique, we are identifying with the trigger, which means we're catching it. Okay? It's in our hands here. <laughs> kind of a weird hand, but it will do. Alright? We catch the trigger. We're aware of it. We're not letting it bring us down. We're, we don't want a half tank here. We don't want a quarter of a tank here. We don't want to go on empty here. No, we want it right here. We want to keep our love tank full. So in order for us to do that, this is where we're catching it and we're looking at that trigger. What does that represent? Is it fear? Is it anger? Is it sadness? You don't have to concern yourself with the traumas. Okay, if you're not too sure about the traumas, don't worry about it. That's a deeper layer. Okay? Focus on the top layer, this trigger. Is it bringing you fear, anger, or sadness? So what you got to ask, maybe it's two out of the th two of three, maybe it's three of three, maybe it is fear, anger, and sadness. That's fine, be aware of it, okay? So now if we're getting fear, anger, and sadness, good, we're aware of it. Now we start to go within. Now we do the inner work, okay? We remember what we did with the BCR technique, and we're just bringing that love energy here. Our fuel tank is now going to full because we're remembering our love energy. Now while that's processing, I ask the two questions. Question number one, is my love energy stronger than the trigger? Yes. Okay. Now, if you answered no, just keep meditating. Keep going within. Be aware of that love energy, of what you were able to cultivate in the BCR technique. Okay, and then you cultivate more. Maybe you start to smile, and now you ask yourself that question again because that's the trigger. Okay, this is the positive trigger. Okay, the positive trigger is this. When we start going in and seeing what we did with the BCR technique, <laughs> I'm starting to laugh. That's good. Now I ask the two questions: Is my love energy stronger than the trigger? Yes, yes, it is. Great. And number two: Am I ready to do this now? Am I ready to do this now? Yes, I am. Okay. 
Now we're focusing on that sphere of the trigger. <laughs> we start to laugh, we start to giggle, we start to chuckle, <laughs> and we feel that trigger melting away, turning to liquid, turning into vapor, and vanishing. Okay? This is, again, another simple technique on top of the BCR technique. Okay? These two techniques are meant to go together. Okay? It's not just one or the other here. You do them together as a pair. BCR technique first, TC technique second. Okay? So when you do that, you bring your love energy, you're taking deep breaths, you're smiling, you're grinning, you're chuckling, you're laughing, you ask your two questions, you feel that trigger melting away. What do we do next? We do the review. Okay? We review the moment that that emotional trigger came in. Okay? So I've melted it away. I'm taking a deep breath. <sighs> okay, I'm going to review that now. Yes, I remember what was happening. This person said something to me. Am I reacting to it? Not at all. Not at all. I'm completely okay. I'm completely fine. I've released, I've cleared this trigger. The trigger's clear. That's why we call it the TC technique. The trigger clearing technique. That's it. You do that, your fuel tank of love is up here. And we just want to be aware of when these triggers come through. Because we have to develop ourselves. We want to become fully aware when these triggers happen. Sometimes we become too modest with ourselves and say, oh, that wasn't that big of a trigger. How is your gas tank? How is your fuel tank of love right now? Uh, it's a little bit down here. Okay, you got to do TC technique. Uh, if you haven't done BCR technique first. Okay, this one first, this one second. So get your love energy up, okay? And even if you just do the BCR technique in the morning, for example, right when you wake up, you got that amazing amount of love energy that's there, great. Now you just need to do the TC technique throughout the day whenever you get triggered, okay? And you just let the trigger reveal itself as it needs to be. I'm angry about this person. I'm fearful about what I saw on the news. I'm sad about someone I know passing away, whatever it is. Those core emotional states are a language. They're messengers in a bottle. And we're catching that bottle. We're pulling out the message. Ah, I'm angry about this. I'm fearful about that. I'm sad about this thing. Okay. So now that we have identified the trigger by catching it, love energy. We start to go back into what we have been able to cultivate the BCR technique. Now we start to smile. And as we start to smile, we do the two questions, okay? Soon as you feel a loving reaction within yourself, what do you do? Ask the two questions, okay? Is my love energy stronger than the emotional trigger? Yes. Proceed to question number two. Am I ready to do this now? Am I ready to do this now? Okay, yes. Go ahead and do it. Smile, grin, chuckle, laughing. Seeing that completely dissolve away, feeling your emotional light, or sorry, your, your loving light, clear away these emotional triggers, turning it into liquid, and then poof, turning it into vapor, vanishing. Now that you've done that, take another deep breath in, deep breath out. <sighs> Go back into review, review the emotional trigger. Okay, here's the moment when this happened. Okay, am I being affected by that moment? To where the trigger happened. No, I'm completely all right. My fuel tank is full. Great. Carry on with your day. That's it. Now again, guys, I do not want you to underestimate the power of these two techniques. This is why I'm giving this to you guys. Okay, these deserve to be free because this is something everybody should know. Okay, start sharing it through your lists. Start going onto Facebook groups. Post those two videos, BCR technique, trigger clearing technique. You guys have to know this. As you know this, you're going to clear all kinds of things out. You're going to clear out the physical body because all illness is caused by emotion. Okay? You're going to clean out the emotional body. You're going to clear out the mental body. 
Okay, physical, emotional, mental bodies are going to be cleared, which means you will be free of illness completely by doing these two techniques on a daily basis. All right? So I'm not exaggerating that. I'm telling you this, guys, because I've done this. The TC technique came to me when I was in Kauai. When I was in Hawaii, I just got back from Hawaii the other day. And I was able to bring this technique back with me because I was going very, very deep, doing a lot of inner work when I was in Kauai. Beautiful uh, island, beautiful location, beautiful paradise, like a giant crystal of an island. And I brought this back with me. Okay, so this, originally the BCR technique was by itself, but now this is a pair, okay? These are twin flames, these two things. <laughs> the BCR and the TC technique, okay? Use them together, okay? And I want you guys to also make yourselves a promise. Make yourselves a promise to say, every morning when I get up, BCR technique. I'm going to reinforce my love energy every single morning. Great. You got fuel in the tank. Now as I go throughout my day, I get these triggers. I catch them. And now I work to, re to uh, re-familiarize myself with the energy that I've reinforced the BCR technique, the love energy. And now I do this process. I feel great. Now I was able to clear out a dozen triggers in one day. Guess what? More vitality is coming through me. I had a boil on my skin. It's gone now. I've had problems with ulcers. It's going away now. I've had problems with digestion. It's going away now. I've had asthma problems. It's going away now. All of these things are gone when we purify the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies. That's it. That's all the healing code cards are really doing for you guys, right? The healing code cards come in and they clear away what is allowed to be cleared away because you deem it so. And it's all really just working with the subconscious. The healing code cards come in, they scrub out your organs, they scrub out your glands, they scrub out your bodily systems because there is debris there that's able to go. But there's core things, okay? Those core emotional states those core traumas, that lack, that you're still holding on to. And that's why you're sick. That's why you're ill. That's why you have belief systems. Belief systems are mental illnesses. That's why you have emotional identity. Identity attached to emotions are emotional illnesses. Okay? This is all just illnesses taking place within the body. The physical body, we have viruses, we have bacteria. Emotional body, we have tainted identity upon the emotional body. Mental body, we have belief systems. Okay? Viruses, that's the emotional virus. That's the mental virus. So you start clearing out your bodies by working with the BCR technique and the TC technique. Okay? Promise yourself. Don't promise me. Promise yourself. You will do this every morning. Promise yourself you will work with the TC technique every single time you're triggered. Every single time. You do this simple process and you clear yourself out. You guys need some enthusiasm? Start doing these two techniques. Start writing in the comments section of this video or even in the BCR technique videos as well too about how this has helped you. Because then other people start to see, oh, okay, other people are doing it. I know Brad's done it, but what about all these other people. And now they're writing comments, they're doing testimonials about how they use the BCR technique, how they use the TC technique, and how they're recovering. And maybe they're doing the, the healing code cards on the side as well too. That's great as well. It's all just the same as this. Same energy. The energy given from spirit. From these two techniques, also in the healing code cards. Okay. So, please give this a try. Make a promise to yourself. And this is going to be your road to recovery. Make yourself know that you can do this and put an effort to doing this every day because these two things are so simple. It hardly takes any effort at all to do them. All right.
Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll speak to you again in another perspective of the now. Take care. Thank you very much for checking out my channel. Below you'll see my links to social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also go to HealingCodeCards.com, pick up your own Healing Code Cards body deck. And of course, check out my website at NewEarthTeachings.com. Thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video.